Okay guys, so I hope you can see me. I'm uh, sitting in my Challenger right now. But I've been sitting in my house all day and I've been watching Hooty Who videos and I've been watching videos with Ronnie James Dio and I was just sitting there thinking, you know, it's beautiful outside, it's starting to get dark and I really want to go shoot my gun. I don't know if it's because I was watching Hooty Who shoot his guns or not, but it could be. Anyway... If any of you noticed, I kind of like to shoot 3030s a lot, but I love shooting 3030s. They're a lot of fun. And I thought, I'm going to go out and shoot my BFR 3030. And if anybody knows what BFR stands for, big blank revolver. You can fill in the, you know, F word if you want. Anyway, I thought, you know, I really want to go shoot. It's beautiful outside. Um, the sun is just about setting. It's almost down low enough to where I think we're going to have a good video. And I've got a special surprise for you at the end of this video. I'm going to do something a little extra because I always shoot my 3030. And so I've got one extra can set up for this special treat. Stay tuned for that. Um, hey you guys, thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click that button, subscribe and like, really appreciate all you guys, you help me out a lot, you'll never know. Um, anyway, so let's go on out there to the field, and let's get shooting. Okay guys, so... Here you see, I've got my BFR, big fine revolver, big something revolver. Anyway, we've got, it's a 3030, I've got these 170 grain 3030 shells. We're going to try those out in these cans. Last time I shot these, I used my rifle. This time we're going to use the pistol. And then for the surprise, at the end of the video, you can see uh, here's part of it right here. Uh, I'm not going to tell you yet, but I'll show you in just a minute. So let's load this baby up and shoot it down. Now, as you can see, that sun is in kind of a bad spot. The sun's setting. You can kind of see those cans up there. But I bet you if I wait for just like a minute or two at the most, that sun will be down low enough that it'll be a really good shot. So we're just going to sit here for just a second or two. It won't be any time for you guys at all. And then I'll start shooting. Hold on just one second. Okay guys, I've made a makeshift... Uh, little like lens cover on this thing so because that sun is I think when it goes down enough it's going to be too dark and it's 10 to 9 right now so we need to get shooting this video so here we go five shots <laughs> all right guys there's the five shots um we're not going to look at the devastation right now because we need to hurry and shoot my special bonus attraction for you so let's go do that okay now as promised we got a special feature we're going to add to this video here's my thompson contender 45 long colt 410 shotgun shell we're going to shoot a 45 long colt at one final can then we can compare the 45 long colt to the 3030 okay now you can see i've added one can in the middle 
that's a new clean can put the pumpkin out so we have a target to aim at and here comes the 45 long colt let's see what it does That one got me wet so I have to think I'm not sure but it kind of looked like to me that the 45 long colt got my camera a little bit wet too it looks like looks like the 45 long colt did a little bit more damage than that 30 30 pistol with the 170 grain bullets well, let's walk over here and find out so first of all we're going to look at the 45 Colt can, and you can see here, kind of ripped a pretty nice size hole in the front of it. The exit hole isn't much, but you can see that's where the bullet came out, obviously, and that's where it went in. And then we have, over here, one of those 3030s did a better job on the exit hole <laughs> than it did on the entrance hole. We have a 3030 laying here and the exit hole came out the kind of the bottom. That's a crazy little tear hole there, but obviously went in right there. And then we have this one, 170 grain, 3030 bullet out of my BFR entrance hole. That exit hole looks pretty good. Tore it up coming out. That's good. I like to see that. And then we have this one here. I didn't have a good aim on this. I'm supposed to aim for the pumpkin. However, you see that little hole at the bottom? That was 170 grain 30 30 look how it ripped the bottom out of the can didn't do much for damage on that and then we have this one over here and that one i believe was the second one i shot and there's where it went in obviously and it blew out the back fairly good and that's the BFR 3030. I don't know, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Here's the 45 long cold again. It didn't do much going out, but you can see the exit hole through the entrance hole. It looked like it did a pretty good job going in. Tell me in the comments what you guys think did the best with 45 long cold or the 3030. Thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate you guys. You guys have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Bye.